hey and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how I sew the um, signatures into um, this journal now I'm not a professional journal maker they just come out how they come out <laughs> for me pickle but I'll show you what I do pickle I usually make a template of the size of the spine that I have and pickle a lot of my um, journals are two inches wide at the spine and have either pickle ah! and have either two or three signatures in it this one's only got two so I've made that up I've just written some details on the back here so I know how um, how big that is and then I've just laid that down the middle and I've Put a spot. Sorry about that, but he was barking at the TV. <laughs> he's taking up, hey, he's taking up barking at any dogs that are on the TV, which is really annoying. Anyway, pickle. Anyway, um, what I've done, I've just cut the holes here uh, with my um, crocodile, and I just use that as a template. And I'm going to put my, um, I've got a pe two pieces of foam here that I've glued together. And this is what I use for, um, just to put underneath here. Okay, and I've just got an awl. I got a good friend of mine to um, make me some little wooden handles on that. And I'm just going to punch the holes in it. Make sure I can see them on this side because sometimes when you've got a fabric um, cover it is quite hard to to see where those holes are Let's make sure the oops they're coming out of the pockets I'll just take those things out all right so that's the cover done now um, I'm just going to make sure everything's right in here sitting where I want it just have a quick flip through I've just um I'll take that out I've just put some um papers in more papers in here see I'll put this one in today and that's a printout on that's one of my digitals but it's printed out, it's um, vintage fabric. I think it might have been a sheet. And I printed it out on coffee dyed paper and it just come up beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, I'm loving that. Um, because this is a grunge journal. Um, I want it to be quite um, grungy. See the colors in this um, journal, in this part of the journal, I'll show you up close. These blues, blacks, um, sepia colors I um, watched a video by um, second chance creation I think she's in is she in Tasmania um, she makes some beautiful journals and she shows you how to get that grungy color which um, comes up really pretty and surprisingly when you put blue in it um, just makes it pop so that's what I've done there. Um, I want that in the middle. That's what I've done on these pages just to get that um, that old grungy color to pop and it really does work. Um, it comes out beautiful and even here I've put sticky tape on and then um, grunged over the top of that just to get that old sticky tape look you know when um, something's been sitting there and sticky taped up for a while um it tends to get a mark around it because when i uh, coffee dyed these papers i scrunched them up and when i unscrunched them quite a few of them tore but it didn't bother me so i just thought well i'll just put some sticky tape on them so i'm just trying to get all these papers how i want them i've um like some of those are my digitals and I've grunged them up as well. 
with some more of that beautiful printed um, fabric. These are some of my um, um, done with the PVC tablecloth as well. They've come up beautiful. So I'll just get that all nice and straight how I want it. There's another piece of fabric, um, vintage fabric that I printed onto um, coffee dye paper. I'll just push this up a bit. And in the middle of this signature is a doily. So there's quite a few in this. It's going to be um, challenging to sew, but I think I've done one this fat before, so. Right. Now I've got some bulldog clips and um, we'll just clip them up so all the papers stay together. Like that, hopefully it all goes into the centre. I've had a few where they don't, but um, I'm not worried on this one because it's a grungy one. If it doesn't go into the front, in, in you know where it's supposed to go. Um, okay. Now the reason I put the lines across here on the template as well is that I've put those in for the spine. Okay, but this one here, I'm just going to lay it um, like that, so that fits there, and then I put the mark where that line is, like that, so that helps me like that. All right, um, let's get, now I'm just going to keep these. That isn't actually in the corner. Where's my rubber? Let's do that again. So, yeah, let's get it like that. Okay, I'll just move this bulldog clip along. Oops. All right. Let's try again. Alright, now I'm going to just try and hold that up like that. Now I've got two of these, two of these awls, and I like to leave one in it when I do it. Just check, yep, that come through. So I just leave one in it so that it, um, pages stay where they should be. Go ahead and do the other two. And you're gonna, some people will freak out because, oh gosh, they're big holes. I don't give a, <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna just, I'll do this how I do it. And um, this is actually um, um, twine that you would um, tie your roast up with. It's really, really strong. I don't know why it's gotta be that strong, but um, that's what I always use to to do my signatures with so I've just got a big darning needle here too I know that will fit through my holes I was going to put that one in there and that one in there all right I'm gonna go this is a three pamphlet stitch I'm going to put my down. I'm going to go through that middle hole. Okay, sorry, my phone, um, my phone went flat. All right, so I'm just going to take it from the middle, go up to take it, add that out.
go up to the the end, back to the middle, it's always a little bit, oh, I just wanted to try and not split the, the um, string so I can pull it properly. Always a little bit frustrating getting it to um, all go in. All right, next hole. Mm -mm. Just take it off. Sometimes these pages don't go where you want them to. Come on, where did you go? Alright. <laughs> Alright, come on. This, like I said, this one's quite thick, so, right, got it. I'm just going to pull them tight. That's nice and firm. And pop that under there. And tie a knot. Now when I tie a knot, you know you do the, the granny knot, but I go not over once. I go over a, a couple of times. I'm not sure what that knot's called. It could be a reef knot. And then I pull it. Because that won't loosen up. So you don't need to put your finger there to do the second knot. And um, yeah, I've sort of learnt that with crochet and stuff. All right. So that's one signature in. First one in. It's even all nice. And I'll do the same with the next one. All right, so that's the second one in. Looks like they all went in nice. There's a fair bit of gap there. I could put something else in there maybe. Oh. 
So, um, I also made a little um, ephemera pack for this one. Well, this one's sort of, it's a grungy journal, but it's like uh, sort of themed um, bugs and butterflies. And that's just out of envelopes. And the Kazia Craft paper that I bought. Um, I've got put a little bit of things in here already. Just a little bit of lace and a little, um, some little labels that I've made. That's with my um, homemade label stamp. Um, there's another little writing pad over here, but I'll fill that up anyway um, for whoever gets this. Put some more bits and pieces in it. Probably put some of these bits and pieces in too. The, um, some of the leftover pictures that I cut out. Like that, I'll put them in. There's the window in there. In that one at the top. You can see them. In there. Then when you close it up, you can see the little butterflies in the packet. Yeah, that's some of my coffee dyed paper. So that will go with it. And then, um, yeah, I just want to finish some little bits and pieces in it. Because I want to put... Um, so I won't show you a full flip through yet, but I want to put um, some more bits and pieces in it. Like this is a um, an earring that I got from the the op shop, a clip on. So I'm going to put that oops, put that on there somehow, and add a little dangle off that. So that's one thing I want to do. Another thing I wanted to do was, um, you, I got these Sizzix Bugs dies um, and the stamp that matches it. So I'm going to stamp out a few of them. I've used this um, beautiful stamp um, throughout this journal. That's what's on the front here. Um, it's one of the cicadas. And then I also need to make some more journal cards for it. So, I've, I've did, done one bug, and um, I might put that in there somewhere on a journal card, and I want to get some more bits and pieces out of this book, and make into journal cards as well. This is the book I've been using um, for this make, Ornamental Shrubs. So I've got two of these books, and had fun chopping one of them to pieces got some beautiful pictures in here so that's where I'm up to with my um, my grungy journal so I hope you've enjoyed just that little sneak peek at it and um, when it's finished it'll be for sale too on in my Etsy store so keep a look out for that pop over and have a look at the um, digitals that I've got over there too um, they're so pretty some of them are just um, yeah, and I'll show you a couple that I've put in here anyway um, for my digitals this is one but I don't have that in my Etsy store yet that should go up soon so that's there's a digital and I'll just put lines on the back um, this whole thing here was a digital that I made into a pocket these are the um, the plain doilies that I've um, scanned onto my tea dyed paper. So if you pop over to my Instagram, which is the link is below, you'll see some of those makes there on the reels. That's some of those um, envelopes that I bought. Um, that That is the PVC tablecloth. I'll have them up on my Etsy soon too. I've only got doilies at the moment, see like this different doilies, these are the tea dyed background ones, um, they're like that's a journal card, they're just plain doilies, um, 
that I've tucked in there. There's some there that I've used to make a pocket. And that's another beautiful doily that, um, that's available up in my Etsy shop. And some of this fabric paper. Um, this has come out just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's vintage fabric and I um, um, scanned it and then printed it onto my um, coffee paper which just came up so pretty for this actual make this um, grungy make there's another one of my doilies are made into a pocket um, and so forth there's, there's, they're all through here there's another one there and there made it into a little corner tuck a little tongue tied then yeah so they're all through here so pop over have a look see if there's anything that you'd like up there because um they're very reasonable priced i just um i'm not into making money on them i just you know loads of money i just want to share them because i've got so many that i've found at the op shop and they're so beautiful all right so i hope you've enjoyed just that little quick tutorial of how i um <laughs> put my signatures in they're not it's nothing special it's nothing different to what you see with what other people do um everyone does it slightly different and um i usually do it just to suit the journal that i'm doing um at the time so therefore they come out a little bit different every time but i like using this thread i think it's a little bit thicker than normal sort of thread but it is nice and strong and um yeah so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you here with me on my channel um just sharing my makes my um hauls um whatever makes me happy at the moment um and like share and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye